Hello everybody, welcome back to more Kingdom Hearts 2. So, last episode we beat the Timeless River, my favorite world in the whole game. And we're back in the Underworld because now we have the option of doing the, uh, starting the various cups. Because Olympus Coliseum in the first game had all the different cups you could do. They were optional, but you got rewards for doing them. They have them in this as well, except instead of going to the actual Coliseum up in the main Olympus area, we can do them here in the Underworld. Now, normally I would recommend that you not attempt these until several worlds after they're available, but you know what? Because I like pain, we are going to try it now. And if I can't win, I can't win. Let's enter the tournament. <laughs> you can sign up for a tournament here. You can enter as many times as you want. So the first one we have is the Pain and Panic Cup. Pain and Panic Cup. Fight alongside your friends. The drive gauge cannot be used, but limits consume less MP than usual. No tournament experiences gained and tournament level 25. So they recommend you be at a level 25 or higher in order to do this tournament. And as you can see, the rules here, we can't use drive forms, we also can't use summons. However, we can use the limits more easily. They don't take our entire MP meter. They only take like a little, like a half the MP meter maybe. Well, if I want to do that, then I kind of want to make sure I've got Donald's Fantasia limit on. So I will, let's see. He just needs one more AP and I have a whole bunch of AP boosts. So I'm going to use one of my 16 on Donald, which is probably a waste, but you know what? Who cares? I want the Fantasia limit to be available. Anyhow, let's try. Oh, what level am I? Hang on. I'm level 19, so I am six levels lower than what they want me to be, uh, but I'll try it. Rules, the drive gauge can't be used, but limits will consume less MP than usual. Get a higher score by collecting orbs and use combos for more orbs. The orbs are how you get a score. So first we got round one, just to see shadows and hook cats. Pretty simple. This is Donald's common attack. As you can see, it's just doing a whole bunch of comments here. And there's the finisher down at the bottom. And you can also wait until the limit get, until you've summoned a bunch of comments. And then you can summon like the, the finisher with triangle. But you can also summon the finisher early by going to the limit finisher at the bottom of the command menu. Round two, we've got some minute bombs and we've got a large body. And boy, howdy, does that large body deal a lot of damage. Also, in case you uh, can tell by what it was said at the beginning, you don't gain experience points when you do the cups. Which kind of sucks. And that was reflect. I was able to reflect and attack basically back at him. So it canceled his attack, I didn't take damage, and he took magic damage from the attack. It's very, very useful. Let's do trim demon. And now the finisher. Trinity limit's a very good limit. Especially for the Coliseum. Honestly, the only round I'm super worried about is this one and the final round. The Hot Rods are back, everybody. Take out the cards. Yes! Unfortunately, I'm now an MP recharge, which is probably not good. Oh, Rapid Frost is not These guys are essential. Oh wow, that's actually an attack that I did not look like one, I thought they were just spazzing out. Oh hey, look bats. Oh hey, Bolt Towers. You know what, I can deal with this. This lets me recharge my MP. So yeah, the orbs give you a score. But honestly, unless I'm mistaken, I don't think the score really does anything except for bragging rights. So you don't really have to worry about that all that much. Gargoyle Warriors. Fun. Hey, bros. Oh. Okay. So they can kill you really easily. Yeah, alright. I'll come back later. <laughs> but that kind of shows off what the cups are all about. No, not the title screen, we'll go to the world map. One other thing that I kind of want to do is I want to go back to the Disney castle. In the Hall of the Cornerstone, because Timeless River is actually really useful now for leveling up your drive gauges, or your drive forms, as well as your summons. Also, 
I'll show off. I'll take this opportunity to show off wisdom form. Let's go. So Donald Duck disappeared, and now we're in wisdom form. When you're in wisdom form, you kind of move around like you're skating everywhere. It's like you're on ice. It takes a little while to get used to if you press square. You do this thing called quick run. The longer you hold the button, the more you dash. It really doesn't give you any invincibility frames, but it makes you move quickly. As you can see, the attack command has been replaced with shoot, which basically will shoot these little orbs at enemies. That's our main attack. And then we can also use magic while uh, moving, which is really nice. Fire is where it's at, though, for <laughs> wisdom form. And yeah, that's kind of it. It's a weird form, takes a lot while to get used to, but it's it's actually very useful. But what I really want to do is go back to Timeless River, because Timeless River is very useful for opening or for leveling up your drive gauges and your summons. Oh, hang on. I thought Donald and Goofy were walking around here. Maybe not. Maybe because we just beat it, we can't do it. Eventually, when you go to Timeless River, Donald and Goofy will be walking around in this... Actually, no, hang on. No? Eventually, they'll be walking around in this area. And you can come back to here. And you can go, basically go into one of the windows, use the summon, use the summon finisher, and in the middle of the finisher, walk back to Cornerstone Hill. And Donald and Goofy will be walking around there, so you'll get all your drive gauge back. But you'll get summon experience points for using the finisher. So that's, that's useful to do in the future, but we can't do it right now. Anyways, now that we've beaten the Disney castle, we can progress to the next part of the game. And as you can clearly see, there is only one new world that we can go to. There's nothing up north, no sorry, there's only one world we can go to, and that is the world to the south of here. As you can see, it looks like a Pirates of the Caribbean world. There is definitely not another world up to the north, no sorry. We're going through Floating Island today. Now for Gummy Ship level, y'all, Still not using the gummy editor. We're gonna use the high wind level three. It's been a while, a few episodes since we've had one of these. Teeny ships, teeny ships fight alongside the gummy ship while blocking normal enemy attacks. So now we've got the main gummy ship and then these two teeny gummy ships next to us. And again, the gummy missions are very easy. I will smash into whatever I want, Chippendale. Yeah, take that. <laughs> take that. Ooh, we get a mini propeller part that we're, we're never going to use. Great! Again, really the only thing that's worth getting all these points for is just for new gummy ship blueprints, which aren't even that great. <laughs> Because unless I'm mistaken, I'm pretty sure you just get the next level of the high wind for every gummy ship level that you do. And the regular high wind is honestly pretty darn good. It's certainly good enough to get you for all the gummy ship missions. So that's what I'm doing. I'm vanilla, baby. Vanilla forever. Yeah, this level is really easy. It's literally just you've got these giant gummy ship heartless mechs walking around. And as long as you know how to use the lock on, they're really easy. And they really don't do anything, so... Booster? I don't want Booster. <laughs> I want Turbo Man. Oh no, what will we do? Oh, we'll just lock on. <laughs> yeah, the gummy ship missions. Even when compared to the ones in the first game, they're still really easy in this. Like, I've seen speedruns of Kingdom Hearts 2, and like, basically people use the gummy ship missions just as an excuse to sing Disney songs. And like, they don't really have to pay attention at all. Like, I want to say for the first gummy ship mission, just to the Land of the Dragons, you can get for the whole thing without even touching any buttons. Like, if you literally just drop the controller and don't do anything with it, you will win. Correct me if I'm wrong on that, but I think that's kind of the case. Yeah, 
give me that. And that's a gummy shipball. Really simple. Root open. Mission levels 1 and 2 unlock that we aren't going to do. High wind level 5 blueprint, we skipped the level 4. And we get the Falcon level 5 blueprint, we skipped like level 2, 3, and 4 for that. Woohoo! And now we're off to a rather infamous world of the game. This is Port Royal. Let's land in Port Royal and see what's up. Wow! This place is kind of different. <laughs> yes, indeed. Welcome to Port Royal, which is a world many people really, really hate. It's not as bad as people say it is, though. Something's up. Organization 13? <laughs> Only one way to find out. So this is a world based off of the movie Pirates of the Caribbean Curse of the Black Pearl, which is a movie based off of the Disney ride Pirates of the Caribbean. That movie's kind of fun and campy, but like, did they really need to make a Kingdom Hearts world off of it? And did they really need to make like six or seven sequels to it? No, they did not. But here we are. So one of the reasons many people really dislike this world is because this world is really realistic. Like you've got all of these really serious, dark and gloomy backgrounds. And the characters we're going to meet from this world are like really realistic looking humans, but Sora, Donald, and Goofy are incredibly cartoony looking and it's just a huge art style clash. I don't even mind that at all. I just don't really like this world because it's, again, really dark, kind of hard to see and just not very fun. Anyhow though, we're on the rampart. We'll open up this chest and get the naval map. Map of the first area. Dark shard in that chest, a heart puzzle piece, and then we open that chest to get a mithril stone. That'll lead us to a different room that we're not supposed to go to, so let's go back to the start here, because they want us to go this way. This room is this world is also home to some very annoying enemies, but they're a lot easier once you know how to deal with them. Aztec treasury! Aye, and thanks to the curse put on it, we are neither among the living nor the dead. Yeah, you can see how the immense art style clash between Barbosa here and then Pete. Really? Cause you look like regular pirates to me. Ah, but in the moonlight. Whoa, now I get what you were saying. Hmm. Well, if you see two doofuses and a brat holding a keyblade, steer clear. They got a kind of magic that don't belong in this world, see? And nobody knows what it'll do to you. Especially when the moon's showing what you really are. A match for Barbosa, you say? Hey! See there? I knew it. <laughs> Those are the punks I was telling you about. Who are you calling punks? It's Sora, Donald, and Goofy to you, and don't you forget it. That we won't, and we'll engrave it on your tombstone, to be sure. Whoa, I like your style. Man, half of you stay here and indulge these cullies. The rest, bring me that medallion. Aye! Aw, oh, we only get to stomp on a few of you? Heh <laughs> <laughs> that was a weird face, Barbosa. Fight the pirates. And one thing you gotta admit, this world has amazing music, at least the battle theme. In the original Kingdom Hearts, the PS2 version of Kingdom Hearts 2, the battle theme wasn't that great. It was like a very uh, midi-fied version of He's a Pirate from the movie. Now this actually sounds like the movie, and it's awesome. So these are the enemies most people really, really hate and are super annoying. These are the undead pirates, who you can't hurt. <laughs> it's no use. We can't beat them. I what do you expect? You can't beat them unless the moonlight is out. You best be saying your prayers. Hey, watch out, they could see you. Stay away from their magic. What for? 
weren't you listening to me before? Hey, Pete, thanks for the tip. Ooh. So now we get to fight them for real. So you have, to, um, and you have to wait for them to be actually in the moonlight before you can damage them. And like Pete was kind of uh, saying, these pirates are really weak to magic, especially Blizzard. This is like the one world that Blizzard is really, really good in, and you're about to see why. Blizzard will completely freeze the pirates in place when you combo them easily. Yeah, like see, they can't move or attack while they have when you shoot a blizzard at them. Goodbye, and there's the last one. There are different types of pirates. There are crossbowmen, axemen, and then grenaders. They're all annoying for different reasons. Goodbye. <laughs> hey, this ain't over. And Pete runs off because he knows he can't beat us, because we've already beaten his butt like three times now. If Pete's here, that must mean we have work to do. Yup. Hey, and that pirate captain looked pretty mean, too. Man, I'd hate to see him turn into a heartless. Wow, well, we are here! Hey, maybe we can take a pirate ship out for a spin. Just kidding. Weren't those guys headed into town? Yeah, I think they were looking for treasure. Uh, yup. Alright, I think this leads back to the rampart. Yeah, that's where we just were. We're going into town now. Where are you taking me? Let me go! Elizabeth! Stop! Don't ask who these people are, because it doesn't the game doesn't explain it to you. We'll deal with them. Go, take cover. This game, yeah. This, my main problem with Kingdom Hearts is like a lot of the Disney worlds or just the worlds in general expect you to have watched the Disney movie in order to understand the plot. But the Pirates of the Caribbean world is especially egregious for that. So if you haven't seen the movie Pirates of the Caribbean, this is the Black Pearl. Uh, yeah, you're not gonna understand the plot of this world. So sorry about that. <laughs> Okay, these guys are out. These are heartless cannons. I'm trying to remember what they're called. Like flame cannons or something? They're annoying because they just shoot fireballs at you and they rain down from above and you've got to get out of the way of the cursor before they land. So you have to come to be on your toes. I think flame cannons are what they're called. Hey, bro. Hmm. Well done. My own fencing skills are not to be ashamed of, but I've never faced foes such as that before. You really think we're that good? Did you find your friend? I was too late, but I must rescue her. Would you help me? Of course. I'm Sora. This is Donald and Goofy. And I'm William Turner, but call me Will. Okay, Will. Let's go. Right. We've got to get to the docks. But we gotta explore town first. There's a ton of treasure chests in here. And enemies to fight. And puzzle pieces. So some of the stuff that's in your way you can destroy. Oh hey! Oh that's the wrong button. Blizzard is on the circle. They also take a lot of damage from lightning as well. But Blizzard's better because it freezes them in place. Chest. Ooh, a Mithril gem. So in case you didn't know, uh, shards are the like lowest level synthesis material, then stone, and then gem, and then crystal is at the top. So just whenever you see a cursor, use a combo finisher on it, and you'll be able to destroy it. And there's generally goodies hiding behind those uh, walls. Ooh, a bright stone. Thank you. Lots of hidden treasures in this area. Gotta get them all. So Kingdom Hearts 2 is a game, if you're playing on normal mode, it's really easy to beat the game like really just without using magic at all, except for maybe cure. On critical mode, you definitely want to make use of magic. 
But on normal mode, it's basically just mash X to win. I think that's everything. Yeah, we can't get that yet. Our jumping skills are insufficient. Back to the docks. I'm sorry, the harbor. We're too late. Huh? Those pirates kidnapped Miss Swan and took her to their ship. Now they've sailed, and I'll never be able to find her. Then she's long gone. <laughs> The Black Pearl is nigh uncatchable. Best find yourself another girl, mate. I don't think that's Johnny Depp. You? What are you doing about the Interceptor? She's off limits to civilians. Ah, fortunate that I'm going to commandeer her then. She'll make a fine pirate ship. A pirate? <laughs> These swords are cool! I love piracy! <laughs> Captain Jack Sparrow, if you please. Take me with you. Help me hunt down the Black Pearl and save Miss Swan. I got you out of that jail cell, Sparrow. Do this, and your debt's repaid. Uh, so apparently, yeah, um, Will Turner busted Jack Sparrow out of the jail cell. That is part of the movie that they cut. It's just like, just trust me, I did do that. You'll have to win Fair Lady's Heart alone, mate. I see no profit in it for me. Come on, Captain. Are you sure you can sail her? All on your own? You have a point there. Well, he agreed very easily to that. Thanks, Sparrow. Captain Sparrow. I'm Sora. This is Donald and Goofy. <laughs> yeah, that's great, mate. Uh, just get on board. <laughs> I'm Will Turner. That will be short for William, I imagine. No doubt name for your father, eh? Yes. Well then, Mr. Turner, you get us ready to make way. I have some effects to liberate. Aye, <laughs> aye. But hurry! <laughs> the Uncanny Valley is very deep in this world. You really want to be a pirate? Of course not. Donald's like, I want to back to What do you make of this will? I don't know. We just met him. Uh, I think my luck's about to change. Okay, then. <laughs> we get Captain Jack Sparrow in our party now. Um... Sorry, Donald, you're getting the boot. Jack is an uh, interesting party member. He's okay. He's not great, not terrible. He has some moves. No mercy. There is no escaping from this attack. That's really descriptive. 10 MP cost. Rainstorm. Throws weapons at the enemy successively. Cost 10 MP. Use this ability freely. Bone Smash. Throws bombs continuously at the target. Cost 10 MP. He can use that freely. Treasure Isle. A limit command that unleashes Jack Sparrow and Sora's joint attack. Bluff. Consumes all of Sora's MP. I'm not sure if I've ever used this limit which is going to change for this let's play. He has free draw abilities because he's pi a greedy pirate who loves to take money. Um, no, you're unequipping all of them. <laughs> well, okay, we'll see. Lucky Lucky, he makes synthesis materials drop more frequently, so that's really good. Item boost, he, his healing items are 50% better. Uh, defender, okay, you can unequip one of the draws to equip Defender. Uh, we do not want auto limit on. That's probably why I've never used uh, his limit because auto limit is by default off. And I didn't even know the limit command in the menu even existed until like my second or third playthrough. Auto healing restores HP while replaced of another member of the party. Yeah, I want that. And that's it. You can keep one of your draws, Jack Sparrow. <laughs> one. <laughs> also, uh, you've got a lot of potions on your hands. I'll be taking those off your effects. <laughs> uh, <few> effects. <laughs> Skill and crossbones. A pirate's best friend. It can parry enemy attacks. Cool. Thanks, Jack. <laughs> Did you just steal all of me potions? <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> we have to hurry and rescue Miss Swan. Are you ready to leave port? Uh, no. I want to talk to Jack Sparrow first. Hey, Jack. Looks like Barbosa's has really gone to town with the, uh, town. Anyway, I've gotten all the information I need, so I'm ready whenever you are. Drink up, may hearty zero hell. Apparently, that pirate who was with Pete is called Barbosa. People say he'll stop at nothing to get what he wants. I wonder what he's after. Where's a blacksmith? And that girl who was kidnapped is the daughter of one of his important customers. If you ask me, that will seems more like a swordsman than a blacksmith. Oh, so I guess you kind of do get a little bit of the plot of the movie, but only if you go out of your way to talk to your party members. I'm ready. <laughs> well, 
won't you? We would be honored if you would join us for dinner. You can release me. You have your trinket. I'm of no further value to you. This is no trinket, Missy. This is cursed Aztec gold. One of 882 identical pieces they delivered in a stone chest to Cortez himself. I hardly believe in ghost stories anymore, Captain Barbosa. That's exactly what I thought. Buried on an island of dead, but cannot be found except for those who know where it is. Find it, we did. There be the chest. Inside be the gold. And we took them all. We spent them and traded them and fritted them away on drink and food and pleasurable company. The more we gave them away, the more we came to realize the drink would not satisfy and food turned to ash in our mouths. We are cursed men, Miss Turner. Compelled by greed we were, but now we are consumed by it. How very sad for you. <laughs> There is one way we can end our curse. All the scattered pieces of the Aztec gold must be gathered and restored to the stone chest. And the blood of every soul who touched a piece of the treasure must be repaid. Miss Turner, for ten years we've searched every league of these waters, every town and village, preying on sailors and settlers alike. 881 pieces we found, but despaired of ever finding the last. All those years, you've been safe in your bed, reading your pirate stories, dreaming of adventures in the high seas. We've endured torments worse than death itself. But now, thanks to ye, we have the final piece at last. When this medallion is restored to the chest, we'll be free to roam the seas as men. No longer will we be ghosts. And the blood that's to be repaid? That's why there's no sense to be killing you. Yet. <gasps> you see, the moonlight shows us for what we really are. We are not among the living, and so we cannot die. But neither are we dead. I've suffered too long. You'd best start believing in ghost stories, Miss Turner. For you see, tonight, you're in one. <laughs> I think that is like literally word for word taken from the movie, that whole scene. <laughs> hey, Donald. Why'd you bench me, Sora? If you want to change our course, why don't you try instant? It sure is a lot of work to move a ship, though. I'm probed. My Donald voice, my Donald and Goofy voices are so bad. <laughs> if you get tired, you can rest in the cargo hold below. <laughs> Even if enemies attack, you should be safe there. <laughs> Gee, thanks. Hey, Will. I fought with Jack once. Afterwards, he was sent to jail. He didn't stay in there long, though. He's a pirate to the core. You broke him out of jail. Yeah, there's a safe point in here. Ooh, a Google shop. Bye. Ooh, we've got a new Donald Staff, the Victory Bell. I want that. And the chain gear for Goofy. That's appropriate, because it's pirate world. Synthesize. We cannot make an elixir. Free development. We can't make any of those. Uh, make creations. Uh, oh, we could make a super potion. Mega potion. Let's use a serenity stone. And that turns it into a mega ether. Um, actually, we can't make that. It says we can make that, but we can only make it if we use the energy stone to cut the amount of materials needed in half. As you can see, we need three mithril shards. We only have two. If we use the energy stone, it'll only take two mithril shards. But then we can't upgrade it because we can only use one bright stone, energy stone, or serenity stone for a single material for a single recipe. That kind of sucks. You want to catch the black pearl, right? It says stop losing around and let's go. 
All right, we, so we can go to Port Royal or we can go to the Black Pearl. So this is kind of like the gimmick of the world. There are like three main islands. One of them you don't even go to until like near the end of the game, if you want to. It's an ambush! You'll have to defeat them all to uh, survive. Or you can literally just go into the cabin if you want. But I like battles. And hey, we got air pirates back from the first game. That was easy, that was easy, that was really easy. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way we can catch the Black Pearl, mate. <laughs> oh, we caught the Black Pearl. That was easy. Why are you so fixated on that compass? It'll be she that leads us to the Isla de Muerta, where Bobos is headed, Sadie. How did you know? Ah, lad. Her and I once had our eyes on a treasure, Aztec girl. It was hidden on the Isla de Muerta. But he turned traitor and stole me ship. So he's after that treasure, then. Treasure's already his, so is the curse upon it. <laughs> it's no, I have no desire for such treacherous words, but I will have back what's mine, the Black Pearl. Okay, cool. Oh, we can't catch the Black Pearl. It's going to the Isle of Dead Muerta, and so we follow it to the Isle of Dead Muerta. You lads wait here. Yon Turner and I will rescue the lady. Hey, what about us? You to guard the ship, of course. It's a task given up to only the bravest of pirates. All right. Guard her well. Shall we? I think he was just trying to fast talk us. And you fell for it! What's keeping those two? They sure are taking their time. If Pete's hanging around, there must be Heartless here too. And Jack and Will aren't used to fighting Heartless. Let's go see. Ah, oh, we don't get Jack anymore. Oh, but we should equip the new weapons we just bought. The chain gear. That has the exact same strength as the Falling Star. And the Victory Bell has at least one more strength over the Comet Staff. Okay. Cool. Peace that went astray, we have returned, save for this. And now, the blood will be repaid to free us from this curse forever. Okay. Uh, normally I would save him quit, but we're now in kind of a weird spot to save him quit at. So we're gonna keep going. Oh! Camera frames? I thought we left you in the Timeless River. Dark Crystal, wow. Mithril Shard. Very nice. Quick, they're after us! We'll hold them off. Give us a sign when the ship's ready to sail. Right. We'll light the signal fire. So now we get a little enemy fight. We gotta defend ourselves for one minute while we're waiting for them. Okay. Uh, Chicken Little, come to my rescue, please. <laughs> so Chicken Little's gonna pull the pirates over here. Ooh, we get Leaf Bracer. That's a really good ability. <laughs> yeah, as long as you keep close to Chicken Little, he'll just keep whistling over and over again. <laughs> 
Also, I'm not sure if I've mentioned this before, but Chicken Widow can take damage from enemies, and every time he takes damage to the summon gate, he tweets a little bit. Also, there's just an unlimited amount of enemies that are coming. Free. Free. Oh man, didn't quite get to finish those guys. We still got a lot of experience points for that, though. Thanks, Chicken Little. The signal. Like I said, Chicken Little gets a bad rap. He's actually not bad. He's pretty good for the early game, but as soon as we get something else, we'll basically never use Chicken Little again, except to grind for summon level ups. Where's Jack? Is he sleeping inside? <laughs> well... And now, the blood will be repaid to free us from this curse forever. No, not yet. We wait for the opportune moment. When it's of greatest profit to you? May I ask you something? Have I ever given you reason not to trust me? Stay here. Try not to do anything stupid. Where'd you get that? <laughs> so I beat him up. Begun by blood. By blood undone. And that's why Kingdom Hearts 2 has a T rating. <laughs> you, mate! Your father was your father, William Turner! No. I don't understand! What's going on? Who brought this wench yeah. to us? She this said her name was Turner. <laughs> Come on. Why is it working? Why did he just do that? <laughs> Get on with it. He's, he's like, let's throw out the last piece. <laughs> Maybe he was you supposed there. to be by accident or something. The medallion? After them, you ingrates. I had to. Jack's no fairy tale pirate. The real ones aren't to be trusted. We get the Isla de Muerta map from s someone. Don't really know who, but okay. Anyhow, uh, let's turn in our dark crystal. Ooh, learn to synthesize more new items for free development to gain from completing the collection. Oh yeah. New free develop. Oh, we can't make. We literally can't make any of it. Oh, we can make mithril shards now. But they require dense materials and twilight materials. Neither of which we're even going to see until, like, like, almost to the end of the game. But, yeah, once you start running out of mithril shards after the copious amounts the game just hands you, uh, that's how you have to get more. <laughs> when I was little, the ship I was on discovered Will drifting in the ocean. After we picked him up, I found that he was carrying... Um, never mind. Okay, so I guess the game does at least try to attempt to explain the storyline, but you have to talk to all the NPCs every time you possibly can. And who does that? Nobody! And even then, they still can't fill in every gap. Like, if, if you haven't seen the movie, you're gonna be like, who the heck is William Turner? And why, why is he, why is he important? Anyways, that's all the time we have for this episode of Cameras 2. Thanks for watching, everybody. Tune in next time. We'll be finishing up Port Royal. And, yeah. That's, that's, that's it. That's what we're gonna be doing. Look forward to that. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.